Hey everyone, this is Tywin with an Aura of Decay Reaper build for Last Epoch. It's all about poison and damage over time. And if you enjoy Last Epoch builds and news videos, consider subscribing to the channel. Starting with the philosophy of the build, I wanted to create a poison build that can clear really fast, which has worked out pretty well. In order to do as much poison and dots as possible, we are sacrificing our own life pool. The poison ticks heavily and often, killing even the toughest enemies in mere seconds. It took some tweaking to make Aura of Decay work with Reaper but we managed to pull it off. I'm using Reap and Transfer for fast movement. In the wake of that movement everybody dies of poison. Amplified by the added poison damage of my passive hungering souls and the wandering spirits. My minions really are the cleanup crew and they're pretty good at it. The build has three key features. 1. Poison and dot damage. 2. Health regen and health leech. 3. Fast movement speed. This build allows you to really blaze through levels, even with high modifiers. The poison takes down everyone and you only need to attack them once or twice with the poison damage doing the rest. Our passives in the Acolyte tree focus on forbidden knowledge for general intelligence. Then we went Mania of Mortality for those instances where you are stuck, minions die around you and the amount of ward you get might save your life. I found it pretty effective. Crimson Gluttony gives health leech and reduces drain effects, which is really useful for the Reaper and the self-poisoning we do. In the Lich tree, we're focused on health regen, health leech, poison damage and damage over time. For health regen, I took Bed of Souls and Volatile Blood. For leech, we are taking Survival of the Cruel, Ageless Ascetic and Soul Maw. Poison and Dot Nodes are Desolation, also for our minions, which is nice. A lasting Stench, Contagion Engine, because we have always killed someone recently. And a Wraithbringer, which summons Putrid Wraiths that do poison damage. They also spawn from crates you destroy and they spawn fairly often. Adding yet to additional poison damage when we are not around anymore. All these nodes seem pretty straightforward to me, so let's dive into the skill specializations. The build gets a bit more interesting here, I feel. Let me start by saying I tried out quite a few skills and you can too. The core of the build is really the set of Aura of Decay, Wandering Spirits and Reaper. The other two skills are optional, but in my case they skill well with poison damage or damage over time, or they just provide functionality that I wanted. Aura of Decay is our main poisoning skill. As a backup, we are spam casting wandering spirits and they poison the enemies too, next to the putrid wraiths that we get from killing enemies. Reaper provides an additional health bar, fast movement, better protections and more poison damage. And finally, Hungering Souls is yet another form of damage over time, albeit necrotic, but it does a good job in providing leech and it looks cool. Transplant just helps with clear speed and provides me with a lot of armor. Starting with Aura of Decay, we went pretty much all out here in terms of damage. First, however, take Inoculation, because that reduced poison damage to you is important. At the bottom, we increase our AoE range by 60% using Plague Rat, and we're taking Bubonic Plague as well for the additional poison spread and application. What we really want is more ticks of poison and more damage, so I opted for Rot Weaver. One point in Seeping Wounds, because a Carrion Poison actually kills you over time. Three points in Mana Blight, and finally Poisoned Soul. You will most likely notice that at the start, when you first get Aura of Decay, it just outright kills you. We will get into gear, but in order to be able to use the Aura of Decay 100% of the time, you basically need a ton of health regen and poison protection. In Reaper form, we're taking the mandatory points in Death Touch, Scythe and Haunting to get to Pestilence, applying poison on Reap. The Venomous Coating makes our poisons last 30% longer, which is great. Mistress of Decay reduces health decay in Reaper form, which is a necessity. It's hard to sustain Aura of Decay in Reaper form, but it can be done and Mistress of Decay is vital here. Plus, it provides additional damage over time. I took Blood Tethers for more Leech. I took 3 out of 4 Soul Shroud for a little bit more armor. And last but not least, Harbinger of Blood for additional health leech. All these points really synergize well with our build. Wandering Spirits are next, and this time they're actually doing decent damage. We're moving to the right for Poison Nodes, taking 2 points in Souls of Rage, taking Spectral Putrescence, allowing our minions to shoot poison, making them much more effective. We increase that node by picking up Souls of Filth, which makes them cast more often. I didn't take the extra range because it really wasn't necessary. Instead, I took Poisonous Minds because enemies are always poisoned. Lingering Souls increases the amount of time the spirits spawn, resulting in more damage over time. Infectious Dead converts all the damage spirits do 
when they touch enemies to poison, which is of course great. And we top off the spec with additional damage in the form of Tethered Existence and Spirit Swarm, so we can spam the skill. If you want more protection, you can opt to put the 5 points of Tethered Existence into Medium and Sheltering Spirits. You would be getting a lot of ward that way and I might spec into that later on, for now this worked pretty well. Then we get into more optional territory, but I picked Hungering Souls, because it provides damage over time, but more importantly, it can cast passively when hit. And I really like that. I don't want to be casting tons of skills, instead I opted for this. And it works really well to be honest. We're taking the whole passive tree line to the bottom left. I went for 6 additional skulls with Soul Swarm, just because of the looks. But the crown jewel of this spec is definitely the 7 points in Inspired Hunger. Providing us with 70% poison damage after we cast Hungering Souls. This is up almost all the time, because you're always getting hit with minor attacks or projectiles. It's a huge damage boost. Finally, for mobility and to get out of harm's way, I took Transplant. I went a defensive route with Bone Armor, Anemia and Plated Bone. Apostasy is great as well, increasing the duration of the Bone Armor and if you get a bit of cooldown reduction, you can cast this skill again before the armor runs out, permanently increasing your armor by 300. The remainder of this spec is totally optional, I felt, so I went with Bone Minions and additional corpses, resulting in more Bone Minions. These little guys are mostly a decoy, they don't actually provide any damage, but that is fine. I didn't like the rest of Transplant much in my build, because it drained more and more health and we're having issues enough as it is keeping our life pool intact. Let's talk about gear. My gear synergizes well with the passives and skill specs. Very important is a ton of health regeneration. Make sure you forge some flat health regen like I have on my helm here. You need this flat health regen so the percentage health regen skills much better. I'm currently at 174 health regen which is really required in order to make the reperform and aura of decay combo work. Poison resistance is important too because it reduces the amount of damage you're taking from aura of decay. For extra damage on gear just forge poison damage and damage over time. I'm holding on to Drowl Sting because 175% poison damage is pretty amazing, plus 4% movement speed is cool too. Storm Tide is also really fast and clear speed is a staple feature of this build, even though the drawback of losing 100 elemental resistance every time you stop moving is significant. Finally, here is the build in action. Always spam wandering spirits, don't stand still near enemies and just walking past enemies is usually enough to kill them. Our poison application is extremely fast, the stacks stick quickly and our minions take care of the rest. Just rush towards your destination in Reperform using Transplant as a quick transportation method. Always make sure when in Reperform to poison enemies at least every 3 seconds or so. If you fail to do that you won't leech enough health and Reperform runs out really quickly. If you manage to keep it up however, you are a murdering, slicing, poisoning machine who leaves behind this toxic mess. It's so fulfilling to play, knowing you can kill almost anyone by just walking by. Follow me on Twitter guys for some news updates at the Die Worm. Consider subscribing or joining the channel, the support is very appreciated and we're almost at 2000 subs. Thanks for watching and making it to the end, see you all soon, bye bye. before me.